probably one of the most resilient kids I've ever met and um, an inspiration. When you hear his story, I think it would be really difficult for you not to be inspired by what he has decided to do with his life and his focus. And the story that I wanted to share with you all is um, around three years ago, um, something very tragic happened in my life. Um, my father um, brutally murdered my mom, stabbing her to death. And I was the witness to the end of the, the crime. And it has been very hard for me. I mean, it's hard to overcome such a big challenge like that. And luckily, with um, the help of my family and the help of my teachers and friends, I'm overcoming this obstacle. Um, this is my teacher, Ms. McPhail. And <sighs> um, I met Jose in August when he, um, sorry, when he started in my AP government class and he was quiet and attentive and always was prepared. Um, and then I noticed he was even more quiet and a little withdrawn. And I talked to his counselor, Ms. Gonzalez, and she explained what was happening in his life and what had happened previously. And my heart just exploded. Um, his situation at home had deteriorated and he needed to um, get out and his uncle and aunt took him in. What you don't know is that they live in Fontana. And he was trying to figure out a way that he could still go to Heritage. He wanted to continue at Heritage. Um, his turbulent life previous, he'd been at three other high schools and he'd still maintained great grades. So he wanted to stay at Heritage. His, one of his younger brothers is a junior at Heritage. He wanted to be able to continue there. He liked his classes, he'd made friends. Um, and so we figured out a way for him to do this. And yes, he gets a ride with me in the morning, but then he takes a bus all the way home. And it's a long bus ride. Yeah. He's a joy to teach. He's a joy to ride with in the morning. He's always positive. He um, wants to be available for people, he's open, he's, he's got these wonderful life goals and he's working towards them. Uh, I think he is going to go to UCLA. <laughs> um, I'm po all positive he will do whatever he sets his mind to. Um, I want to focus in biology with the dream of once, one day becoming a doctor. The, the uh, fact that you are dedicated to these goals and you stick to them and other people don't have that and it's wonderful. So I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.